Hello and welcome back to FM with Old Man Phil. And thanks for following along as we take Newport from rags to riches. Maybe. Well, hopefully. If you are new to the channel, then hit that subscribe button and click that bell so you'll be updated when future videos are uploaded. And we are really flying high at the moment. And we couldn't have had a better start. Top of the league, eight points clear of our nearest rival at this point in time. Forest Green in second on 27 points. We are top of the league after 14 games on 36 points. And then we had a good October. We've had a good October beating Scunthorpe 2-0 Swindon. Uh, we lost in the Papa John's Trophy and beat Bradford City 2-0. But then 2-2 and 0-0. The FM clue. And I played a lot of FM21 and I got used to seeing those, what I call the two draw syndrome. And you might well have seen this. One of them is usually a nil nil. Um, and this signifies that you are about to go into a pretty poor run of form. And no one wants to go there. And at this point, uh, I have to be extremely vigilant. I have to do a great deal of research in order to break the system here. Because what could happen is that if you lose the next game, then you could find that you only pick up um, three or four points from your next 15. And this will have a huge impact on your season. Once morale starts to plummet, then results will follow. And this is something that you really need to avoid so bristol rovers were next and um this was a bit of a problem for me because they were also flying high um one of my main rivals at the moment and very very difficult game i did a lot of research and they are a very very good side and i found it difficult to work out how i was going to win this match but i came up with a plan and um, we headed into the game and into the game in the first few minutes. A corner on the right hand side for Bristol Rovers and bang. We suddenly find that we are a goal down and we haven't even barely had time to get onto the pitch itself. And this remained the pattern all the way through the first half. Um, all the way up to half time and um, at half time I gave the players a severe rollicking and um, I told them that they needed to up their game basically um, but I also decided that we're, the tactic was giving the opposition far too much respect and we were just letting them come at us and we were providing no goal threat um, I was also aware this is also the uh, the double draw syndrome, so whatever I might do would probably have no effect. But I'm, I went much more positive in the second half and we created a lot of chances, but nothing was seeming to um, go in until the 84th minute when we were given a penalty and Fisher stepped up and put the penalty away and won one um, we, I would have been I'd have taken a draw but in the 88th minute this happened a long ball forward and Cooper finds himself on his own one to one with the goalkeeper and dispatches it into the corner and so we took the three points and maybe just maybe we have avoided the double draw syndrome um, for this um, early part of the season at least but I am aware this could happen two or three times during the course of the first and second seasons okay let's get off to the game for this month and this is the last game of October we are at home to Stevenage and we are um, hoping that we can continue our good form these are also very difficult games for me to win. This is a team that is um, 
somewhere near the bottom. I think they're in 17th place. And is, I find it very difficult to beat teams who are around about 20th place in the table. So let's go to the first half. A new put have a throw taken by Chris Nolan. And there's a head, it's off the bar and then fired away into touch. Hit the bar. Very early chance for Newport. But here are Stevenage. Stevenage coming forward. The press seems to be working again. We're forcing them out. Osborne finds Prosser. Prosser to Reed. What can he do inside to Prosser? They're playing very patient football. And... Here's a chance for Taylor. Taylor drives one, and that's a great save by Day. It's been uh, halfway through the first half. It's been pretty much all Stevenage, apart from that shot that hit the bar, and that's headed clear um, from the corner. At least we managed to defend that corner this time. And here's a free kick for Stevenage and Prosser. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'm not quite sure what Day was doing there, but I think he might have thought he was having his picture taken there. Um, a bit over the top. That, But here's Clark. Clark driving forward. And he's got Abraham through, and that's whistled past the post. <laughs> and that's still at half time. It's Newport nil, Stevenage nil. And it's been pretty much um, Stevenage's half. And so Stevenage get the second half underway. And we really need to become a little bit more attacking, a little bit more positive in what we're doing. We are not in the greatest of form at the moment. And Bennett, that's a very poor header. Yango, Yangi goes off on a run and challenged by Bennett. He's only gone and given a penalty. I thought that was outside the box. That looked outside the box. But a penalty it is. And Android steps up and wallops it into the top corner. And it's unfortunately Newport nil, Stevenage one. And that really was the last thing that I could do with at this point in time. Having just beaten Bristol Rovers, um, Stevenage are proving that just a little bit too much for us. I can't work this game out sometimes. Um, anyway, it's um, a free kick to Stevenage, and that's a poor kick headed down by Norman. Norman to Abraham, and that's a brilliant ball. Fisher's in the clear. Can he finish? Can he finish? Never in doubt. And that was a super response within two minutes of Stevenage taking the lead. Newport are level. And now I'm starting to feel a lot better. We're a lot more positive in the second half. We gave away a silly penalty, but I do believe we can go on and win it now. Um, confidence should be high. We're playing attacking football now, and let's go on and win it, boys. And here come Newport. We have a free kick. Free kick taken by Misalu. Oh, my word. That was a good save by the goalkeeper. What a good free kick. I didn't know Newport could take free kicks like that. And here's Upson. Upson with a corner. Fires it in. And that's a header that loops over the bar. We're just, like, dominating the game now. We're throwing everything at them. Here come uh, Stevenage, though. We still need to be very careful. Um, and that's a long ball into the... Oh, so close. That's what we need to be careful. We are throwing the kitchen sink at them. And here's Upson with another free kick that's brilliantly saved by the goalkeeper. Um, and although we cannot, although we are pressing and creating chances, we cannot get that goal. And here's another corner headed out. Newport playing it out from the back. Misalu in midfield to Azaz. Azaz finds Norman with a delightful ball. Come on, Norman, what can you do? Norman whips it into the box, and that's easily taken by Anang. 
long ball upfield and here's Bennett what can Bennett do he drives forward stops and plays it back to Clark Clark to Bennett we are getting up towards the 90 minute mark now um, and maybe we're gonna have to settle for a 1-1 here's Norman what can Norman do he gives it to Clark Clark finds Abraham Abraham's in the clear and as us and oh, that was so close and I don't think it's going to be our day today and so close by Azaz. Here's Abraham. Abraham finds Norman. Norman inside to Kane. Clark, what can he do? He flicks it onto Norman and there's Fisher! But I think I have a funny feeling that Fisher might be offside in the 91st minute. I thought we, for a minute we'd sneaked it, but it wasn't to be. I think we're going to have to settle for a draw. So we move into the 94th minute now. And once again, Newport, do they have one last attack in them? Here's Clark. Clark finds Norman. Norman to Kane. We're coming up to the... And here's Abraham. Abraham has scored! But I think that's been ruled out as well. I think that we do. I don't believe it. We've had two goals ruled out in injury time. I just don't believe this. And there's the final whistle. 1-1 one, one in a match that we absolutely dominated in the second half. We were second best in the first half. But boy, in the first second half did we up our game. And unfortunately, though, it just would not go in for us. Um, and you can see our stats are better um, all across the board. Um, and we simply should have won that match. But unfortunately, we didn't. But we are still, after 15 games, we are still six points clear at the top of the Skybet League 2. We were beaten, unfortunately, in the third round of the Caribou Cup by Manchester United, who gave us a good thumping 4-1 in a game that we um, want to forget, really. Um, and in the Papa Jones Trophy, um, we are hanging on by the skin of our teeth, and we need to beat Plymouth in two games' time in order to um, qualify, to stand a chance of qualifying for the next round of games. And that's it for this um, instalment of Newport's Rags to Riches story. And if you liked the video, give us a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you'll be updated when future episodes are uploaded. In the next one, we'll be taking a look at what happened in November. And things controversial yet again may well appear. And all that remains for me to say now is see you in November.